is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed night wherever you are in the world. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If this is a very touchy subject, um, I'm going to step on some toes, toes. I don't mean to, but this is something that has to be discussed because it has happened to me maybe over a hundred times. And excuse me, I'm going to have to say some hard things. Um, let me go ahead and make a disclaimer. I'm not a racist type person. I love everybody. All Africans, all Nigerians are not bad. All foreigners are not bad. Okay. That's the disclaimer. End of story. So don't come at me sideways and we're going to have a great time. Praise God. But I'm about to walk this thing out. Okay. So here's what's happening. I'm going to have to walk it out all the way. America is just like Babylon. We don't, as a whole, we don't have, there's a crack in the foundation, which actually I'm getting ready to do another video. So I can't really go all into that, but there's a crack in the foundation because then the reason why there's a crack in the foundation is because we're not standing solid on what God have called, have called us to do and his biblical principles. So now you got all kind of stuff coming up in there, all kind of stuff. So I'm going to stick to the thing at hand. Um, I was talking to a prophetess last night and she said, apostle. This foreigner, which is the African Nigerians, they come to my inbox and they tell me about a prophecy. Can I tell you something? They've been doing that for years. Actually, right now, there's a movement. There's a movement on in the whole land of false prophecy. And what they try to do is they try to tell you that voodoo, hoodoo, and all that stuff is on you so that you'll pay to get it off. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. You got to pay nothing. The blood of Jesus get that stuff off. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That's if somebody have even put something on you. But they're trying to install fear. Now, you don't have to say nothing, but how many of you have had them come into your inbox? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I've had so many pages where they ask people for money for an orphanage and this and that. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. And y'all not going to like where I'm going. I'm going to be honest with you. You learn, you have to learn wisdom and discernment because let me tell you something. These people are Sue says, I'm going to read something. I'm going to read something. Oh, I have a lot to say about this. Praise God. Praise God. Cause I'm really tired of it and they don't bother me no more, but they used to, and, and they still try every now and then. All right. It's called prophecy, African prophetism. All right. And it's spelled P R O P H E T I S M. And what it is, is as a study of religious leaders, they have studied so many leaders here. They know most of them are fickle or oh, come on somebody. So what they actually is a group of priests, diviners, divination, healers, and witch finders. And so they seek out people and they pray. They go through your, they go through, I'm going to have to watch this now. They go through your profile. And if you have a little money or something, especially you lonely ladies, you better stop. Y'all better stop acting all lonely. Y'all better start waiting on God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And I'm not trying to bash nobody, but the Bible says silly women, they get, they get taken away. That's how do you think a lot of people are dying? This is really a real subject. It's not nothing to play with. And it doesn't have to be just Africans and Nigerians, but they're mostly the ones that's coming in people inbox talking about, oh, you know, and, and I, they'll give you, I'm talking about it'll sound so good, it'll sound like that it ain't God. I'm telling you it's not God. That's why I'm doing this video. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And unfortunately, I'm about to say something and y'all not going to like what I, I know people, oh God, they're going to get offended, but I have to be, I got to be obedient. I know people that have married, people that they weren't supposed to marry, these Africans. And a lot of them have money. The one, Some of them have money, but some of them are plants. Now, I know y'all don't understand, but I'm going to try to walk this thing out. Ladies, <laughs> let me just break this thing up. I ain't got time for this. The man that God going to send with send to you for real, for real, he's not going to just like your body, ladies. He's not going to just want to, um, you know, like just floss you up with money. and No, no, no. He going to feed your spirit first because here's the deal. He going to love God so much until God going to tell him how to deal with you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God going to tell him how to love you. God going to tell him how to gird you. God going to tell him how to help you. God going to tell him how to speak to you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But most of you are just fleshly. You just want a man. Let's just be honest. And vice versa. You women. I mean, you men, you're, you're marrying Jezebel's and y'all not understanding what's happening. This is not just about sex. I'm, you know what? I'm going to have to intertwine these two videos anyway. You know, God was telling me, he said, Deanna, there's a crack in the foundation. He said, there's a crack in the foundation. Let me tell 
tell you why there's a crack in the foundation. Because the man, men, you got to stand up in this hour. You got to stand up and be a man. You got too many older men. Y'all want to act like y'all young, dress like y'all young. Can y'all just be grand grandfather? Can, can, can y'all just help the youth by being who you're supposed to be, wearing a suit and quit trying to sag and quit trying to be cool like the young people because the young people need you to be who you are. That's for the real ones. Come on, somebody. Then you got the older women. Y'all trying to be cougars. Ain't no trying. Y'all trying to be cougars. I'm not saying that God won't send you a younger man. That's not what I'm saying. But he's going to be saved and sanctified. He's he, he not going to be a drug dealer. Okay? Come on, somebody. He's going to be pooking them. So now you got a crack in the foundation. So now you got all kind of other stuff coming at you now because there's nobody that's standing up for real and saying, wait a minute, this out of order. This is not God. This is not how God did it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So now you got you got witchcraft coming in, divination coming in, witch doctors coming in and taking over the people of God because God the, the order of God has been cracked. The foundation has been cracked, God says. And I'm going to tell you why. So I'm going to have to intertwine this anyway. This is what God told me. He said, Deanna, they are so busy making money until they're not building up their family. So we're talking to the men and women. Are you building up your family? Because I'm going to be honest with you. This is what most of y'all are doing. Most of y'all are working so hard out there. I want my kids to have what I ain't never had. But yet your kid is a murderer. Your kid is a thief. Your kid is a liar. Oh, come on, somebody. I know you ain't going to lock me up in here tonight. But I'm going to tell you right now. You so busy on that job that you're not raising those children. Y'all don't understand the crack in the foundation. Let me stick to the crack in the foundation. Men, God did not tell you just to love your wife. God did not tell you just to love your kids. He say, build them up the most holy faith. If you are just giving them money and honey, honey, guess what? That's why your family is getting attacked. Y'all supposed to help them Bible studies. And I'm talking about away from church, by the way. Hallelujah. Y'all wonder why the school system jacked up? That's because at the house it's jacked up. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. That's what's happening. It's jacked up at school because you're not doing what you're supposed to do at home. Because you ain't at home. Because most of you run in the street. Come on, somebody. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Y'all not doing what y'all supposed to do. The church, the church is, is a sham right now. And God is not pleased, but don't worry. 2020, you're going to start seeing people fall down day. 2020, you're going to start seeing hard exposure. It was a soft exposure this year and last year. God says he coming so hard. Y'all going to know who is who. Hallelujah. There's a crack in the foundation, God says. There's a crack in the foundation, God says. There's a crack in the foundation. Get your house in order. Get your life in order. God says more than about money. And, and hold on. Don't you understand what Revelation is saying? It's coming. You, you, you're going to have to, the, the money going to be thrown in the street. You're going to be able to do nothing with the money. What you going to do? Where's the morals? Where's the foundation? Y'all wonder why people are acting a fool? That's because guess what? Everybody's not doing what they're supposed to do. And hold on. That accounts for me too. Come on, somebody. There, are, let me be honest with y'all. I was so tired today. God said, "You got a job to do." Come on, somebody. And I know you think it's just Facebook. I am mandated. Hallelujah. And I'm tired. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm tired. God say, tired or not, you know what you got to do. And you see, I'm up here, right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have obligations, and you have not done your obligations," said God. Mothers, it's time for you to be a mother to that child. You need to find out what they're doing, how they're doing it. I don't care if they get mad at you and quit being afraid of your kids. There is no way that those kids are supposed to be getting the upper hand on you to where you're scared in your own house. The devil is a lie. <laughs> what? My daughter tried it one time. And there was one time after that. Oh, trust me, you know the police came. Let's be real. And like I told them, I said, go ahead and lock me up. And when I get out, I'm going to do it again. I don't play. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all better understand what time it is. God is going to be with you. God is going to give you favor. Y'all scared of the law. Y'all scared of this. I'm not saying kill nobody. I'm not saying abuse nobody. But y'all got a, there's a crack in the foundation. You got to build the foundation back up. I don't care what color you are. You got to build the foundation back up. Y'all women, stop being hot to try. That's how y'all getting killed out there, God said, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. You're getting on Facebook and crook, but just, just, just a scrolling, just a scrolling. As a matter of fact, half of y'all follow them, them preachers because they fine. Oh, don't start with me. Oh, I'm on one. Hallelujah. And vice versa. You men, you following women. Come on. You know you don't feel God. She just fine. There's a crack in the foundation. And that's why everything's sipping in the crap. That's why everything's sipping in the crap, God said. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You gotta, we got to go back to the oracles of a God. If it ain't God, it should not go. 
Just like this mess with Kanye, I'm not even finna get on that. If y'all don't see, let me tell y'all something. First of all, ain't nobody hating on nobody. I love everybody. But we are mandated and we have wisdom and discernment. I don't know what God y'all serving, but let me tell you how true this is. When somebody gets saved for real, they sit they self down and, and, and hold on. You supposed to what count the cost? I can show y'all in scripture. You're supposed to sit down and learn of God. This man's supposed to be preaching all over the world, especially if he a babe. Oh, I'm sorry, he's not preaching. Oh, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, he he just dancing. Oh, I'm sorry, he just music. Y'all don't like me. I don't care. But you know how he can get in? Crack in the foundation. That's why y'all can take everything and say that's God. But a, a mature Christian, Christian that walked this walk and. That ain't God. We're going to call it. And then, oh, y'all judging. Yes, we are. Hallelujah. We are commanded to judge righteousness. Y'all know what that thou should not judge mean? That means that you can't put no, you, no, nobody know who's going to heaven or to hell. And you can't say, okay, God won't save nobody. No, no, no. But righteous judgment? I'm supposed to watch your actions. Aren't you watching mine? Y'all need to stop playing this game. Because y'all playing a dangerous game with God. Y'all know if Jesus was on here, that's not the way it would be done. That's all I'm saying. If the brother really want to be saved, which I doubt it, because that's an anti-Christ spirit. Oh, he's saved. He's serving Christ. Anti-Christ. Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. Y'all sitting up there playing this game. That's why the Africans can come and into your inbox. Some of you powerful women of God, I know for a fact I'm going here. I ain't got no choice. I, God told me I got to say it. They married these men. And now you don't even know who you are, said God. You were supposed to be a strong woman of God. And because you got hot to try, I just want to be married. And men, you do the same thing. You have forgot your assignment, God said. And therefore, he will forget you in that day, he said. So you better return to your first love. You better repent. That's what y'all better do while y'all sitting up there playing this game. Hallelujah. I'm on one. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. This stuff real. There's no way that you can truly get food by these soothsayers if you was rooted into God. Every time I thought I missed it, I promise you this is what happened. And I'm going to be very transparent because you need this. When I was in California, I met this guy, and I really liked him. He had worked for the railroad, had a good job, good benefits, everything. You know God woke me up at 4 o'clock in the morning and said, Deanna, he married. Hurt me to my heart. I called him up. He came over. I was at my desk. I said, just like this. I said, I'm going to ask you one question and one question only. I said, you married? Uh, I said you're married <laughs> okay get up out my house I said because you were not and you had no right to do that to me y'all sitting up there letting people do what they want to you that is not of God hallelujah because you want to be in love true love you ain't got to chase true love you ain't got to buy oh I just said something because most of y'all buying tell me what God say tell me what God say most of y'all taking stuff for money the devil is a lie. You have an assignment. You came to earth for, with an assignment, God says. Hallelujah. This is not about you. Most of y'all want this to be about you. Let me tell you something. Real preaching, real teaching, this is a sacrifice. This ain't no game. You don't get to go where you want to go. You don't get to do what you want to do. You don't get to have who you want to have. You get who God says. And that's your problem right there. Because there's a crack in the foundation, said the Lord. Now you got everything. We got a mess. Oh, but I feel the power of God. Let me tell you what God said. He said, Deanna, I'm going to get this straight. He said, because that's my church and that's my name. Hallelujah. He said, my son died for it. And the blood, the blood was his blood, not yours. Hallelujah. He said, so as he redeemed it before, I'm going to redeem it again. Hallelujah. From the hands of the enemy. So guess what, enemy? God about to snatch everything back from you because you don't run nothing, said the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah. 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 I feel the power of God. So y'all got to watch these people in y'all inboxes. And I'm not talking about just Africans and Nigerians. They white, they black, they coming in talking about how you doing, beautiful. I'm fine and I don't need you to tell me that I'm beautiful because God tells me I'm beautiful all the time. In his word, he says, I'm the apple of his eye. Y'all sitting up there, let everybody smooth talk you because you're lonely. You're horny. Yeah, I'm saying I'm, I'm, I'm grown folk tonight. Everybody trying to be funny. Y'all better put your flesh under submission, God See, The enemy's trying to still kill and destroy you. This ain't a game and your family. Y'all wondering why they're killing the kids? Because y'all letting them in the door. Because you horny and you lonely. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God.
Y'all better stop that foolishness. Then you want to cry after it happened. I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, you knew. Because there's always red flags. Let's be real. Let's be real. You got to be no prophet to see the red flags, baby. Y'all need to stop playing this game. This stuff real. And when these people come in my inbox, I delete them. Boom. And you know what else they do? They like to call you. And y'all so lonely. Y'all like, hello. How you going to talk to a stranger through Facebook and you don't even know who that is? I'm sorry. I'm on one. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel the power of God. That's all God told me to say. Let me get up off of here. Count the cause, God says. The enemy has come to steal, kill, and destroy. They sending people to destroy, y'all. They not playing with everything. All these phones, y'all sitting up there with the, Let me tell you something. Everything's being recorded. Facial rich recognition. Y'all don't notice they got the little the little cameras in Walmart. Now, y'all, 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 what y'all think? They just facial recognition. And, and, and actually, a lot of us did it with the selfie. I didn't know at that time. Y'all think this again? Back in the day, they had to, they had to go years for finding all the Christians. They have a movie on on Netflix the other day, and I told you sometimes God to tell me to look at it because I don't look at that junk. I don't want nothing in my spirit. Do you know they had a movie, and guess what they slipped and said? Because I couldn't understand what I was looking at. It was a warrior movie, so it wasn't sexual or anything. Thank you, Jesus. But he, they say one thing that caught my attention. They say we will spill the Christians of the, the blood of Christians. Y'all better listen because they tell us what they do. They tell us what they're getting ready to do. I'm telling you what God say. Hallelujah. Count the cost. God say, repent and return to him with a whole heart. And if you don't know how to do this, you get on your knees and you don't always go in front of people at a church because that's why you don't want to do it. I did it by myself. Let me tell you something why I'm so powerful and I'm not trying to brag. It was God that came in that cell. Yeah, I was in, I was in cell four. I was in cell four. But now when I tried to kill myself, I was at the house. It was God himself that met Deanna Faith Dixon in that room and said, I love you, don't kill yourself. It was God. Y'all sitting up there going to man. That's why most of you not staying saved because it, 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 it's dependent upon if the pastor like you, or if the pastor leave you, or if the pastor talk about you, if the pastor don't, well, you know what I'm saying. But when it's God for real, I don't care who. Yeah, ain't, ain't, ain't nobody got to be around. Just me and him. Hallelujah, God. I don't know how to do it. Show me how to do it. Hallelujah. That's y'all putting man before God and he is not pleased, said the Lord. So these people from other countries, they are learning how to deceive people from this country and it's working. I've seen two people and y'all not going to like me. I'm sorry. I hope when y'all see this, I, I love you. I don't mean no harm. You've married these. You weren't even supposed to marry them Africans. And I know, cause God, and I don't come against a marriage because that's not of God, but I know what God has said. You don't even walk in your calling now. You just be on Facebook. I love you, though. It is what it is. Whew, that's all God told me to say. Let me get up out of here. I'm telling you what God said, you guys. This stuff real. This stuff real. Y'all they are letting them in the front door. And, and they really want your children. They don't want you. They want your young, your, your, your daughter, 15, 16. Y'all don't tell you about that, what, what happened. I was in Opelousas, Louisiana, dating this guy. And we laying in the bay. And my daughter, she had some little shorts on. And she was walking. And I saw him do like that. I left that same day. I said, you know what? <laughs> You're going to make me hurt you. What you mean? What you mean? Y'all y'all like y'all ain't got no... You you can see when stuff off. Stop playing games, God say. He's gonna hold you accountable, God say. God say he's gonna hold you accountable for what happened to them children. Y'all send up that and like, ah, yeah, ah, ah. You oh, you know what's going on. All right. That's all God told me to say. God bless you and God keep you. I love y'all. I'm just delivering a message. Don't get mad at me. God is just tired. God is tired of these babies dying. God is tired of you dying, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Some of you, it's, it's, it's too much. It's too much. Over what? Not making good choices. Accepting people you don't even know in your life. I told y'all what God said. When you meet anybody, you're supposed to say, God, who is this before me? And to be honest with you, you don't move until you get confirmation. I don't care how fine, how much money they got. You don't move till you get confirmation, said God. So, uh, all right, God bless you all. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who you are. God bless. <sighs>